Hey Gemini, welcome to your January 2022 tarot reading with me, Lauren, at The Clarity Cure. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday season and I hope you got to celebrate New Year's Eve and do something fun. Uh, with that being said, we're going to dive right in for the sake of time. I meditated shuffled. I got all your oracle cards out. Uh, so let's do this, Gemini. Let me just take a quick look here at the cards. Whew, Eight of Swords overall energy. Um time to get over whew, some um, mental anguish and self-restriction. You're really in your head. You're going to be challenged in the month of January. You got you got some good stuff here. Um, but I'm also seeing some kind of boredom, maybe. Ooh, you could two fours. So this is about your foundation, your very foundation, how you make money, how you move forward in your life creating the financial freedom that you want. Maybe you've been juggling a lot of money here. You do have the two of pentacles here as your obstacle. Maybe robbing Peter to pay for Paul. I'm seeing a lot of sunny energy here, though. Um, maybe this is responsibilities, too. Maybe having a lot on your plate and you're just like, you're like about to lose it, you know. Or you're fearing the worst, right? Maybe there could be something here that you are hindering yourself from from being able to move forward, like there's certain fears, either financially or you're doing what you really want to do. You have uh, this energy of responsibility at your very core with the nine of pentacles um, here at your feet. This is completion, accomplishments, um, being the master of your destiny and being really independent. But with the four of wands here... Um, there could be some kind of issue of finding stability in the home, okay? So there's trials and tribulations here that need to be overcome. Some kind of integration needs to happen here. Now, this is my mini marriage card. Maybe some of you are moving in um, with somebody or considering, you know, that kind of commitment. And moving to the next stage of, stage of a relationship. Because you need balance in your life. You do have the chariot. You are going to find, be successful here in balancing this yin and yang. And I think it's going to help you with some sense of security. Two of pentacles is a time to rethink and refocus and adapt. You're not adapting. You need to adapt. Let's see. You, got, um, you have change here. 417 is your frequency vibration. So you definitely want to listen to some frequency music throughout the month. It's going to help you to cleanse um, so you can move forward because um, change is here. It's your second chakra as well. So this is this is getting in touch with your emotions, your relationships, um, your own self-value, how you create um, what you want in your life and being empathetic, okay, even towards yourself. Fluoride is your gemstone, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Being authentically connected. Fluorite, definitely get yourself a little piece of that. And your angel card is shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow it to. So there could be a situation here where maybe where you bought a home, like you were financially very independent and secure, and now like you're getting committed. Um, maybe you're you're moving forward as a couple within a relationship, and maybe this is about spending money, right? Um, maybe you bought a home. Let me show you this. You got the four of wands. Okay, so there's something here that's challenging your foundation, um, but you're really fearing the worst. Don't worry. You got money coming in here. Your angels got your back here. Okay. Um, and you have to do what you need to do for your happiness here with the natural beauty and authenticity. I mean, you have to move forward, um, and really appreciate who you are and what you bring to the table, whether you're single or in a relationship. I know this energy at the Nine of Pentacles um, is, a, is somebody that, you know, 
maybe needs to learn how to share, <laughs> share the wealth, share the love, share the, the, uh, the contentment, right? The understanding of the desires and, and, um, this is also evidence of tangible assets. Like I was saying, you being able to stand on your own two feet, but now you're, you're coupled here with somebody and this could be a big move for you. I guess is what I'm trying to spit out, you know, am I doing the right thing moving in with this person or buying this home? It's a big financial commitment. Okay. So it's something to that nature that it's where you're trying to improve a home, your home environment or the very foundation and you're taking this action, but I'm telling you, stay sunny, stay hopeful, because you do have the chariot card here in your immediate future. This is you reigning the dark and the light in your life and taking control. You got the the dark and the and the and the white horse here, right? And this is you, you know, claiming your victory. This is you moving forward. Um so definitely I feel like a move within a home here could be really significant for some of you. Maybe this does require some kind of travel um, where you have to move from state. That's very possible as well. Um, <clears throat> and um, I want you to know that your advice card, okay, is this queen, this queen of pentacles energy. Okay. Um, this is... This, uh, it, it, it's, it's a, it's a balanced card, which I see with the chariot energy, but it's, it's success. She is so abundant because she has worked very hard to achieve, okay, the financial success in her life. You're doing the right thing. You've worked very hard and you're doing the right thing. So I don't want you to worry that you made a mistake here, okay? Because you're making, you're, you're, you're creating a new reality for yourself, okay? So whether that's within a commitment or a new home or even a new vehicle, maybe for some of you, um, you're going to be fine, <laughs> okay? I want you to know you are moving in the right direction here, okay? Um, being the queen bee, feeling like, uh, you know, you have to, you, the, if I can spit it out, the queen of pentacles, okay, finds her success in prosperity and tangible assets because she's achieved that level. So what I'm telling you is that you're going from the nine of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. So you're making the right move here. I don't want you to overthink it and worry and worry and worry that you're not doing the right thing. Okay. Because there's something here that you have to deal with as far as being real with yourself um, and moving up kind of that food chain of life. And if you're struggling, okay, with some kind of financial um, insecurity, you need to let that go, okay? <laughs> you need to let that go. Four of cups as your influence behind the scenes. Another four. Um yeah, you, you know, you're being, <laughs> the universe has been nudging you to make this change. And maybe you, because you've been bored, okay? Um, so opening up here and being vulnerable about who you really are and what you really want um, is really uh, key. It's key. It's key to your success here because you don't want this to be a missed opportunity. This, this whatever this sh shift is for you with the four of wands, this change in your home life, um, the way you, uh, make money or a view, view abundance or commitment in your life with somebody, your prosperity is because the change is probably well overdue, right? And so maybe there's been some limited beliefs you need to take a look at, or maybe, you know, it's because you've been disappointed in the past, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to go through this again. Maybe this could be a second marriage for you. Um, it's going to resonate a little differently. But at the end of the day, whew, this is you finally reevaluating your situation. Because to be honest with you, there's something going on here with the Two of Pentacles. We can have a lot of money and still not have any money. Okay, so there's something going on here. I think it's more about your independence or something to the fact that Maybe, maybe this is going to create more responsibility for you, right? Um, because now it is a home and you had an apartment and now, you know what I'm saying? And now maybe 
you have to pay the water bill and the electric bill or there's just something here where you're questioning your work life balance and you're trying to find some stability maybe trying to find the stability in in offer in order to make this decision okay about reevaluating your situation and going for your happiness here okay you can't wait for your happiness you have to create it right so the four of cups indicates a time of not seeing what's right in front of you right not seeing what's there do not miss this opportunity you need to strike forward okay you need to move forward okay in this relationship you need to move forward in this opportunity to find success and money and stability in your life you're going to be very surprised that it's going to work out for you <laughs> time to overcome your limited beliefs here gemini right um sometimes we're so busy looking over here that you know we're not paying attention so that's why the four of cups always says it, it, it it's like this divine nudge for you to open up like open up and and broaden your perspective of your life and the direction you need to move in because change is here for you baby and it's not always comfortable okay but it's something about you being really true to yourself um and to heal your financial struggles or your this energy of needing to rethink refocus um getting more balanced in your life because you've been dealing with like this energy of walking on a tightrope right but but this is like my little mini transformation card okay so maybe this is about two two things that's very possible as well for you maybe trying to make a decision because you got the two horses here you have the two coins um two offers a choice a choice between the independence and a choice in joining forces with somebody because you see there's two people here there's a lot of two by twos here you see what I'm saying I'm loving this I mean I think that um, it's time for you to face the decision you're gonna need to do in January okay so take the time out to evaluate your situation it maybe you have to write it down maybe you need to lo look at your living expenses um, or your work-life balance or mm, maybe this is balancing maybe you have more than one job here two jobs two streams of income and you're handling a lot of the double of the responsibility but that is going to come to an end because if you're joining forces and moving in with somebody here okay um you together you can contribute okay three of pentacles here as your outcome definitely indicates you learning something new this is a whole new lifestyle for you this is my card of learning growth and expansion um, now for some of you um, yeah this is a huge lifestyle change maybe you're leaving your job maybe you want to start your own business here okay um, maybe maybe you're about to really commit to this relationship that you've been in if you've been single for a long time this is my single status card yeah this is this is you moving forward in a brand new relationship um and reining in what's been difficult for you okay and prioritizing okay what has been giving you a lot of mental strain struggle and anguish okay so you're building, you're building a, a solid foundation for your future. Um, you definitely have an opportunity here to be recognized for what you do within your situation as well. So it's time to procreate here. <laughs> procreate and co-create Gemini because this is really exciting. You need to be true to yourself. See, three of pentacles is being true to yourself and doing what you love okay and you have this authenticity card here to being true to yourself maybe you've been in denial maybe you've been really holding back here okay about even this offer okay so maybe this is an offer to move in maybe this is an offer to um to co-mingle um you're looking at these three cups but there's you're so focused on the three. You're not seeing that God is handing you this chalice here. You're not looking. You're over here. Okay. You need to look up 
and see that this this situation could definitely work to your advantage maybe there's one more person that needs to get involved you're you're going from the three to the four and you're the fourth person here in this group this community okay this this work project even for some of you um, something that you can call your own this could be a physical workplace maybe, maybe you're deciding to open a store um, okay and expand a business and you're like shit I already got so much on my plate you know like I don't know I, I've been working so hard at this and now I'm gonna do that I think it's a great decision it's gonna move you into you feeling more of the queen instead of the nine right you're gonna be feeling like the queen bee over here because you're you're taking on a whole new level of how you make money your abundance whether that's through a partnership through business um, or moving to a new home or sharing a business location because um, I think where you are you're bored to be honest with you so you need to strike while the iron is hot so there's some kind of opportunity coming in here for you shower of abundance to heal your financial situation first give us your worries concerning money yeah there's money worries here or something I'm sorry I'm a hot mess I have my Christmas pajamas on still um yeah time to get over it sorry guys but um as we work together your final stage will heal will heal yeah you know like what they say um you know when when we this kind of reminds me of the four um is it the four of wands where we um, hold on so tight to our finances? Oh, uh, okay. You know what my spirit guides are saying? Okay. Sometimes the nine of pentacles is an energy of, yes, you know, I feel like I have it all. I have had my success. I am comfortable with that, but in a way, I'm kind of lonely, right? So that's what I'm picking up on here. And it's a tough decision for you to let go of the reins, so to speak, in a sense that you feel like you might not be in control, but you are in control. You'll always be in control. You have the chariot here. It's time for you to take control for your happiness. You know, having financial uh, security doesn't necessarily bring happiness you know what I'm saying um so there's some kind of victory coming in here for you and I want you to be open to it it's you're being you're you're gonna be victorious over your obstacles in your career your projects switching from a to b um making a commitment perhaps here uh with somebody for some of you like I said, moving to a new home, moving in with somebody, changing, change, change, change. This is the card of change, 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 okay? Stop worrying about it, okay? You're not going to sabotage yourself. That's what you're afraid of, Gemini, but you're not, okay? If you worry about this, if you keep um, holding on to this mess, uh, this energy, right? Uh, this mental energy of anguish. Um, you're going to feel trapped, right? It's, it's, you're not trapped. Okay. You have choices and options and it's time for you to create the change I want. Look at what's under that. The sun card. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, time for change. Oh, you're going to miss an opportunity here because of your limited beliefs. Okay. Reevaluate what comes up for you this month, any kind of opportunity, and I want you to go for it. I want you I want you to move forward in your life. This is a brand new year. What a great way to start January 2022. If you doubt yourself, if you're still not sure, hit me up for a private reading. Seriously, Gemini, I think this is such a great way for you to start out the new year in switching up how you're this is a lifestyle change. This is big. This is big, and I know it can be scary, um, but I love it for you. And you're going to be able to, for those of you that are really looking to learn something new or start uh, a new business, um, it's okay to be the student. It's not always easy, right? 
um, especially if you've been the boss over here um, and, and you are focused on building some kind of business with a solid foundation through some kind of collaboration, let the people into your life, <laughs> right? Um, because there is an energy here of needing to collaborate, needing to collaborate, okay? All right, and putting yourself out there in a whole new way. So I'm going to leave it at that, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was kind of interesting. Uh, remember, be true to yourself, Gemini. Change is upon you. It's all for the good. I think it's going to kick up the dust, uh, this divine nudge, um, and you getting over your limited beliefs about making particular changes in your life um, need to really be looked at where you know, finally, you're looking outside the box to create a whole new financial future for yourself, moving from the nine of wands to the queen of pentacles energy. It's, it's a really smart move. You will be successful. I love it for you. Mm, I want to wish you much success this year. God bless you guys. If you like this video, please like, share, and leave a comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next month. <laughs> All right, Gemini, take care. All right, bye-bye.